Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the sold-out VWF Arena. We've undergone a makeover because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are making CAW history. This is the first ever quick preview in the history of the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a night you, you'll, you will never, ever forget. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the broadcast. I am Isaac, a.k.a. Omega, here to call the action tonight, ladies and gentlemen, running through the card one more time. We'll start off, ladies and gentlemen, of course, with the Queen of the Mountain match. Six women will walk in, and only one woman will walk away with the guaranteed title shot at any time of their choosing. You see Diana Buffer, of course, right now making the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, it is fought under Money in the Bank rules. First person to jump up the ladder and steal the briefcase will be guaranteed a title shot at any time of their choosing for the next several months. You see Diana Buffer giving final instructions to the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, I never knew that the VWF Arena could emit so much noise. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sold out. We are live. And ladies and gentlemen, you'll never forget this date. Sunday, October 30th, 2011, when the Vixens Wrestling Federation went to Click Preview for the first time, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is just our opening contest. Perhaps our most anticipated, our, one of our most anticipated bouts. And ladies and gentlemen, it's opening the show. Ladies and gentlemen, what else do we have in store for you tonight? I will be happy to uh, let you know. Of course, uh, you have, we have to keep in mind that the uh, hardcore title is still under 24-7 rules, and Yuna is the current champion, so anything can happen. Also, ladies and gentlemen, for the Tag Team Championship, the challengers, the Simpson sisters, Jessica and Ashley, face the champions of Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb, Team G4. Also, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a number one contenders bout to determine who the next challengers for the tag team titles will be. And that will pit Haruka and Michiru against Tequila Sunrise, Reiko Hinamoto, and Dixie Clements. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the main event, one of the most talked about main events in CAW in the last several years. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, all the talking will be done. It will be put up or shut up time as Aerith Gainsborough, the first ever VWF champion, takes on the challenge of her longtime rival, Lindsay. And you know that Abdallah bin Laden will be at ringside in Lindsay's corner. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Makoto Kaido already in the ring. And there you see Ray Hino. She and Makoto are good friends, but, well, it seems like these two um, put competition above all else because, ladies and gentlemen, we saw them argue with each other at the uh, last episode of Nitro, if you will recall where Ray Hino threw a drink at Makoto Kaino, essentially laying down the gauntlet. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to remember, no friends in this match, only enemies. Every one of these ladies deserves to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Each and every one of them had to endure a grueling qualifying match just to get here. And there you see Lara Croft. Lara, of course, has been seen a lot on VWF programming this season. She started off with a loss to uh, Abdallah bin Laden, and of course you remember a couple of weeks ago as you're looking at the footage, she suffered a defeat at the hands of Mickey James. Mickey James just took her out, I mean, from pillar to post. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, uh, Lara Croft found a way to uh, overcome that challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my notes were screwed up, so I apologize. Laura did not lose that match. I am so sorry. She uh, got here by defeating Mickey James, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. That was a typo on my notes, and I apologize to Laura Croft. And now you see coming down the aisle another competitor in this contest, of course, Riku. Riku, a former NGW women's champion. And ladies and gentlemen, what a road she had to get here. She had to get through the challenge, of course, uh, as you see the highlights here, had to get through Reiko Hinamoto, and Reiko was firmly in control until there you see Haruka got involved, and it was the opening that Riku needed to defeat Reiko and qualify for this contest. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that also uh, helped to plant the seeds for another contest coming your way tonight here at Retribution. I am talking, of course, about for the number one contendership to the Tag Team Championships. I'm talking about Haruka Michilu versus Tequila Sunrise. But that one's still to come, ladies and gentlemen. And now you see another competitor, the, one of the last women to qualify for this match. I am talking about Usagi Sukaino. And in that match, Haruka's teammate, Michiru, it was her turn to run in, this time on Dixie Clements. And of course, I mean, history seemed to repeat itself, except in this contest, Usagi wrestled on about five minutes notice. But as it stood, Dixie Clements hit the Dixie Cutter and was looking to advance to this contest. But then, of course, Michiru making herself involved. And that was the opening that Usagi needed. So, ladies and gentlemen, this could be a very different match. We could have had Tequila Sunrise pulling double duty here. It could have very easily have been Reiko and Dixie in this instead of Riku and Usagi Sakaino. And there you see former BWF Hardcore Champion. Danica Patrick, she got here by defeating Sailor Venus Minakalino. Minakalino, of course, hit that super kick, and I thought it was over. But ladies and gentlemen, somehow, Danica fought her way back, got back into this match, and found a way to win it, albeit that she used the ropes for leverage. Danica, of course, as I've said many times in the past, not afraid to take a few shortcuts. This kind of match plays into her hands because there will be no disqualifications, no count outs, no pinfalls, no submissions. It's all about using whatever means necessary to grab that briefcase suspended 20 feet in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about getting that guaranteed title shot. Bell's gone, we are underway. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the ladders spread around ringside, all of the weapons that are made available to win this match. One of these wrestlers is going to have to use one of those ladders to climb up and you see that briefcase suspended 20 feet in the air. It's all about grabbing it and using it anytime this season to get that guaranteed title shot. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's just Bedlam in there and it's going to be Bedlam for most of this match. As you see a Van Terminator delivered by Lara Croft on a Makoto Kaino. Now Sagi Sakaino uh, locking up a little bit with Ray Hino. Now Danica Patrick takes on Ray. Riku with Lara Croft. Makoto Kaino now with a go behind on Danica. Oh my, German suplex onto one of the ladders. Meanwhile, Ray Hino and Usagi Sakaino keep going at it, but Usagi drop kicks Makoto. Riku now with Lara. Lara fired into Ray and Ray took her out. Oh my, Lara that time missed with a shoulder tackle. Usagi Irish whipped. Nice clothesline from Makoto Kaino onto Danica Patrick. Makoto leaps, scores with that second rope moonsault. Usagi Sakaino now with a, a Colorado tie up. Irish whip from Ray Hino off of the ropes. And now Lara with a kick to Usagi. Meanwhile, Ray Hino with Riku. Riku fired over the ropes 360. Danica goes out of the ring. Usagi now slapping away at Lara Croft. Makoto Kaino in the corner setting up that ladder. Ray Hino's on the ground and uh, Riku is on the outside, ladies and gentlemen. Now Danica to the outside as Usagi's taking on Lara Croft. Colorado tie up. Usagi fires Lara Croft into that ladder. Oh my. Makoto Kaino now in trouble. Ray Hino. Oh my. Scores with the Bulldog. Riku back in now. T takes a right hand from Ray. Now delivers a right hand of her own. Off the ropes. Nice cross body block there from the second rope. Lara Croft, Irish whips Danica Patrick into Makoto Kaino. Makoto Kaino now with a go behind on Danica. Makoto fires Danica into the ropes. Oh my, Lara Croft using that ladder as a weapon. Now it's taken away by Riku as Usagi's recovering on the ropes. Usagi tries to take the ladder, but no, there's no use in that. Riku taking out everybody with the ladder that she can. Now Usagi Sakano with that chair. Oh my, knee breaker from Danica Patrick. Lara Croft now on the canvas. Rehino on the outside. Makoto Kaino with a nice uh, takedown of Danica. And Riku's down now. Now it's Makoto Kaino and Usagi Sakaino. Makoto Kaino with a go behind on Danica into a nice Hurricane Rana. Usagi fires Riku into Makoto. Makoto now with Riku. Fires her into the corner face first. Dropping her back and oh my, just firing her into that turnbuckle. Into a German suplex on the ladder. Oh my, elbow drop from Danica onto Ray, but got, got drop kicked by Usagi Sakaino. 
Marcroft now with the ladder. Oh, my. Taken away from her. Ray Hina with the ladder now as Makoto Kaino and Riku going at it. Makoto now. Nice front drop kick onto Riku. Ray Hina's got the ladder. Tried to use it on Makoto Kaino, but it's blocked. Makoto now with the ladder. Oh, my. But interrupted by Usagi, who catches her with a head scissors onto the ladder. Oh, my. Now Riku's got a sledgehammer, and she's looking to use it on anybody she can. Knee breaker there from Danica, but she walked into a takedown from Makoto. Now Riku fired into the turnbuckle. Coming up on top for Makoto Kaino and Ray Hino. Laura Croft takes out Danica Patrick. Usagi Sakaino hits scissors onto Riku. Monkey flip there by Makoto Kaino onto Ray Hino. Laura Croft now with Danica. Usagi now taking over. Usagi moved to the midsection. A DDT perhaps coming up. Well executed. Shades of Jake the Snake Roberts. Meanwhile, Hurricane Rana from Makoto Kaino onto Ray Hino. Riku now looking around. Now she's picking Danica to take after. Danica tried to get fired into the ropes, but was blocked by Ray Hino. Now Lara Cross got Danica. Makoto Kaino going to work on Riku. Oh, my big right hand. And oh, my. MKO from Makoto Kaino, ladies and gentlemen. But Riku was right back up. Riku no sold it. Now Riku tried to go for the briefcase, but oh my, Makoto top of the ladder. Double team maneuver coming up. Danica hammering away on Lara Croft while Usagi Sakano held her. Usagi now turns on Danica, calling up a tie up. Nice drop kick from Lara Croft onto Ray Hino. Makoto Kaino taken out by that ladder from Riku. Nice drop kick again by Usagi Sakano. Riku setting up the ladder in the middle of the ring. Huh. Danica fired into the ladder. Now it's Ray Hino and Makoto Kano. Makoto Kano's got that sledgehammer. Oh my, fires it right into the midsection of Ray Hino. Ray Hino no sold it though. She gets right back up as Danica was dropped face first onto that ladder in the corner by Usagi. Now a nice uh, face buster there from Usagi Sakano, but Riku no sold it. Now Lara Croft getting a boot to the midsection. Now Makoto Kano using that sledgehammer with extreme prejudice. Oh my, now choking the life out of Riku. Usagi Sakaino now takes the ladder off of the ropes in the corner. Ray Hino and Usagi double teamed Danica for a second, but a nice boot to the midsection from Usagi. Ray Hino fires Lara Croft into the buckle. Oh my, taken out by that ladder in the possession of Makoto Kaino. Meanwhile, a head scissors take down from Ray Hino onto Riku. Usagi fired off the ropes by Lara Croft. She's just running back and forth right now. Coming up a tie up from Lara Croft, fires Riku into another corner. Riku is exposed in the corner, but is being double teamed right now. Oh, my, tried to take out uh, Makoto Kaino, but missed. Ray Hino now going at it with Lara. Lara fires her into the ropes. Ray, though, uh, has no one to finish her off after that Irish whip. Short arm clothesline from Makoto Kaino onto Danica Patrick. Lara Croft now setting up the ladder right in the middle of the ring. Someone's got to climb it up. Oh, my, over the ropes, 360 goes Ray Hino. Usagi takes out that ladder very wisely. Riku fired into the turnbuckle face first. Nobody to follow up after. Oh, my. She's taken out with that ladder from Lara Croft. Danica on the other side. Fired face first into the buckle. Makoto Kaino now with Lara Croft. Riku with the ladder. Riku runs that ladder right into the face of Danica. German suplex from Makoto onto Lara Croft. Riku now looking for someone to hit with that ladder. Oh, my. We could have had dueling ladders there for a second. Usagi. Oh, my. She put down the ladder and paid for it uh, with a ladder shot from Riku. Riku now, while everyone else is distracted, trying to go up the ladder. Oh, but Makoto was suplexed right onto it. Down goes Makoto and Riku. Nice DDT from Ray Hino onto Danica. Lara Croft in the meantime, boots to the midsection to, onto Riku. Riku goes after Usagi Sakano now. These two chain wrestling. Nice European forearm there from Usagi Sakano. Taken, taken down by Lara Croft. Makoto Kano now with the ladder. Oh, she took herself out. Huh. Let me get a drink. Ray Hino now with Danica Patrick. Osagi Sakano striking it out with uh, Lara Croft. Riku with the ladder. Makoto Kaino off in her own little world right now. Out to over the ropes. Oh, cross body to the outside. Lara Croft took a chance and it paid off. Head scissors from Makoto Kaino onto Usagi Sakano. Danica with a go behind and a chop block onto Riku. Ray Hino helpless on the outside. Oh my, Usagi fired face first into that chair set up in the corner. Danica now with the ladder, setting it up. I don't think she's going to get an opportunity. Oh, wait a minute. Riku tried to use that opportunity to take the briefcase, but was taken out. Makoto Kaino, Riku, and Danica down now. Ray Hino on the outside, bringing in some steel steps, bringing them to the party. Why not? Riku with a shot to the back of Lara Croft and walks into a nice arm drag takedown from Musagi. Makoto. Oh, my. I think she's going to. Oh, goes to a helicopter move with the ladder. No one to hit. Oh, my, Lara Croft took a chance and missed with that elbow off the ropes. 
Makoto Kaina now going to the helicopter again and misses again. She's again whiffing. Oh, she took out Ray that time and Laura. Oh, my knee breaker there from Danica, and she gets hit with a ladder. Right now, Makoto Kaino is clearing the ring, but no, Lara Croft kips up. Elbow drops Usagi. Riku, oh, my, taken down by Makoto Kaino. Uh, Danica Patrick's got the sledgehammer. Oh, my. A diamond cutter there for Makoto onto Ray. Makoto, house of fire, German suplexes Lara. Now Usagi setting up the ladder in the middle of the ring. Karnabatai, Makoto Kaino, and Ray Hino. And, oh my, she's going up the ropes. And another drive kick as Riku uses that ladder onto Danica Patrick. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody has really made a, a good run for the briefcase yet. Usagi fires uh, Lara Croft off the ropes, but walks right into a trap from Ray Hino. Ray Hino fires her into the corner. Meanwhile, another MKO, this time from Makoto Kano onto Riku. I think she caught her again. That's the second time. And double Russian suit. Uh, uh, excuse me. Another Russian leg sweep, a double Russian leg sweep with Makoto and Danica. Oh my. German suplex from Makoto Kaino onto Usagi. Riku cleared out of the ring. Usagi kips up. Makoto now. Headlock onto Danica. Lara Croft and Usagi going at it. Now Makoto's off the ropes again on another drop kick. Usagi's fired off the ropes again. Irish whip into a hip toss. Ray Hino looking hurt right now. Riku on the outside looks like she's almost out of it. Makoto Kaino now on the top rope measuring somebody, anybody. Nice bulldog from Ray Hino. Oh my, Makoto leaps and catches thin air. Lara Croft in the meantime with Danica. Oh my, just drives her head into the mat with that Tomb Raider. Karno up tie up, Riku fires Ray Hino off of the ropes. Ray Hino has no one to attack her. Oh my, Riku then gets on the second rope and leaps and scores with Usagi. Nice bulldog from Lara Croft onto uh, Ray Hino. Danica on the outside, slowly getting back into the ring. Now Lara Croft fired into the buckle. Makoto Kaino now giving chase, setting her up maybe for a superplex. Now Usagi sakaino has got the ladder. Usagi, oh my, tried to use it for protection. It didn't work. Oh my. Now Makoto Kaino now on the top rope measures Lara Croft. But instead catches Usagi. And Danica is just bashed with that ladder. German suplex from Makoto onto Riku. Now Ray over there with Lara. Now Danica is coming back to Makoto. Makoto now with a go behind. Nice reversal right there. Makoto seems to really be on fire right now. She delivers an MKO, this time onto Danica. Now Ray Hino's got Lara Cross set up on the ropes, and oh my, just punishing her. Usagi leaps, scores with the moonsault. Makoto Kaino, everyone else is distracted. She's going for the briefcase. She's got a good shot at it. Ray Hino coming out to give chase. The two friends going at it on the top of the ladder. Oh my, Ray with an elbow, and down goes Makoto. Now it's Ray with the briefcase. But Lara Croft takes the ladder out from under. Oh my, what a drop that is. Danica now, oh my, took out Lara Croft and Makoto with that ladder. Now Danica's setting it back up. Usagi Sakaino looks about out of it. Riku looks about out of it. Oh my, Ray just got blindsided with those steel steps. Lara Croft exposed in the turnbuckle. Oh my, and Usagi continuing to use those steel steps with extreme prejudice. Oh my gosh, she could have just de decapitated Danica Patrick. Nice takedown there from Makoto onto Ray. Danica Patrick looks like she may be out. All of these women may need medical assistance whenever they get out. Ladies and gentlemen, so many matches still to come, but right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's taking all of my willpower for my jaw not to fall off. Riku now with a suplex onto, onto uh, Usagi. Let's her hang there for a second and drops her. Makoto now taking after Riku. Lara Croft in trouble, sent over the ropes 360 after a knee lift there from Danica. Makoto Kaino now with Riku, Ray Hino with Danica Patrick, Usagi by herself, Lara Croft on the outside. And Makoto now off the ropes, another front drop kick right in Riku's face. Usagi's got Ray. Usagi going for a beautiful suplex. Danica Patrick trying to steal this opportunity and go for the briefcase. Makoto Kaino though catches her in the mid in with her hand in the cookie jar. Oh my, drops her head, and oh my god, oh my god, no, oh my god. They just took each other out. Lara Croft now and Riku onto, onto the ladder, battling out in front of the briefcase. Now it looks like Lara Croft may be taking the ride. Riku dropping those elbows, and down goes Lara. Riku tried to go for the briefcase, but Ray Hino breaks it up. Ray Hino now with the ladder. Usagi on the outside. Lara Croft and Riku down, Makoto down. Danica to the outside to get that second ladder. Now Lara Croft and Ray Hino going up to the top of the ladder. Lara tried to reach for the briefcase but was 
caught in mid-act by Ray Hino. Now these two duking it out right in front of the briefcase. They are 15 feet high, ladies and gentlemen. Makoto now with the other ladder setting it up in the corner. Uh, everyone seems to be ignoring Lara right now. Oh, my, but Makoto catches her, and oh, my, that's a long way down. Usagi with a boot in the midsection on Riku. Riku with a boot in the midsection of her own. Now Makoto with a go behind on Riku. Now Usagi, nice Hurricane Rana onto Danica. Oh, my, Riku fired face first into the ladder. Now over the ropes goes Makoto. But Makoto gets right back in. Lara looks like she's hurt. Makoto leaps and scores with Riku. Now Lara off the second rope, hits the crossbody under Ray Hino. Usagi now face first into the ladder. Makoto kind of has got her set up, looking for a suplex. Perfect. Oh, my God, they bent the ladder. Well, that's one ladder out of the equation. One down, two to go. If you'll notice, ladies and gentlemen, that northernmost uh, ladder from uh, on your screen has not been disturbed yet. Oh, my, Danica now at 619, maybe coming up from Ray Hino. Oh, my, that fly... That Excuse me, that, oh my, that's 619. Riku misses with the crossbody. Now Danica helpless. Ray Hino setting her up for the, oh my, rolling mandala right there. Set her up for the rolling mandala, but Danica's right back on the outside. Wise move now. Makoto exposed in the corner. Short on clothesline from Usagi onto Riku, and a bulldog coming up from Ray Hino onto Lara. Got it. Clothesline in the corner from Danica onto Makoto. Now headlock from Usagi onto Danica. Usagi, oh my sins, Danica to Suplex City. Headlock from Ray Hino. I mean, excuse me, from Makoto kind of on Ray Hino. Nice fireman's carry takedown. Boot to the midsection, on to Makoto, uh, does Laura. These women really starting to, this, this match starting to take a toll on them, ladies and gentlemen. And listen to these fans. Danica on the outside, oh my, nice drop salt there from Ray Hino onto Makoto Kaino. Uh, Lara Croft to try to be fired into the buckle, but the uh, ladder uh, stopped her momentum. Spinning heel kick from Riku onto Ray on the outside. Usagi and Danica going at it. Lara Croft just got dropped on her head thanks to Riku. Makoto Kaino now setting up the ladder, perhaps. Oh, my, she's using it as a weapon, just burying it into the chest of Lara Croft. Now she's got it set up underneath the briefcase. Nobody using it just yet. She readjusts it. Ray Hino going after Riku. Lara Croft looks to be too injured to do much of anything. Makoto tries to go for the briefcase. And, oh my, Lara sends her down again. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just our opening contest. Oh my, Usagi takes out Danica Patrick there with a sledgehammer and choking the life out of her. That's as legal as a hammerlock. Ray Hino down. Looks to be unconscious. Lara sent down. She got caught in the crossfire. Usagi now dishing out some punishment to Riku. Uh, Makoto seems to have the ladder. She's setting it up in the corner. We could lose another ladder here. Lara Croft now with Ray Hino. Ray Hino fired into the corner in with that ladder by Makoto. Danica tried to chop block her but failed. Oh, my. Ray Hino may have just gotten decapitated by that ladder. Nice neck breaker there from Riku onto Lara Croft. Danica Patrick now dishing out some punishment to Usagi. Usagi, oh, my. Nice knee lift right there by Riku onto Usagi. Riku now with the ladder. Uh, use, try to use it to cut off Makoto, but Makoto snatched it out of midair. Oh my, and just clobbers Riku with it. Danica, almost unconscious. Nice head scissors from Lara Croft onto Makoto. Oh my, Ray Hino using that sledgehammer on Usagi now. Danica Patrick noticeably leaping. Irish, uh, limping, excuse me. Irish whip. Now Makoto has got the ladder set up. Everybody else seems to be preoccupied. Danica on the outside trying to get those steel steps and bring them back into play. Usagi down. Ray still up. Riku still up. Riku going up. Lara down. Usagi and Ray going at it. Danica going after Lara. Now it's Makoto and Riku 15 feet high. Down goes Riku. Does anybody see Makoto? Oh, my. Ray, Makoto got caught in the crossfire. Danica got, got fired after that Irish whip into the ladder. Oh, my, that could have just broken Lara Cross back. Suplex from Danica onto Lara with that ladder. Oh, my, Bulldog from Riku onto Danica. Now Ray Hino going after Riku. Usagi and Makoto slugging it out. Lara Croft and Danica Patrick down. Who will get the briefcase? Who will get the briefcase, ladies and gentlemen? Makoto now with the ladder. Carnella tie up onto Lara. Fires Lara out of the ring. Trot kicks her out. 
Danica's down. Danica's on the outside with Laura. Now Makoto's trying to clear everybody out. Makoto must think this is the ultimate elimination because now she's sent Usagi out. Riku trying to take advantage of everyone else being distracted, but Makoto sees her. And Danica, oh my, topples her over back down to the ground. Danica with uh, Laura. Laura now steals the uh, ladder from Makoto. My voice can't make it much longer, ladies and gentlemen. I hope we can get a winner soon. I can't take it anymore. Lara Croft taking everybody out with the ladder. Usagi back in. Now she's got a ladder of her own. Where did that ladder come from? Makoto now walking around in a daze. Now she's climbing up. She and Usagi both are climbing up. They're nowhere near the briefcase. They've been pushed out of the way of it. How can they reach it? Instead, they're going to take this opportunity to brawl up on top of the ladder. Oh, no. No, 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 no. A 20-foot high neck breaker. Oh, my God. And now Riku is bleeding. Riku's got the crimson mask, courtesy of Ray Hino. Danica Patrick now just run, running around trying to get after anybody she can. Now Makoto once again going up. Makoto has been the most persistent up on top of that ladder, but she can't reach it. This is a perfect opportunity for her, and she can't reach it. Oh, no, she's perched up on top of that ladder. Leaves and nailed Ray Hino. Ray Hina's going to need a stretcher. So is Riku. Okay, all these women continuing to brawl on the outside. Oh, my, Lara Croft takes out Makoto Kaino. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, let me just take this opportunity to say what a match this has been. No matter how it turns out, no matter who ends up taking that briefcase, all of these women deserve it. All these women have earned it. Makoto Kaino now with the ladder. Makoto's got the ladder set up. Oh my, taken out. And Usagi just used the chair and she's using it on everybody. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, my doctor said I should take a... After talking like this for about 30 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, I should take... A 10 second break. Okay, that was around 12 seconds, but I took it anyway. Oh my, Makoto now up on the top of the ladder, down goes Usagi. Makoto's got a hold of the briefcase, it's over! Makoto Kaino has taken the briefcase! Persistence pays off. And now, she has a guaranteed title shot for the remainder of this first season of VWF. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my gosh, what a grueling match. These six women put each other through the ringer. And ladies and gentlemen, somehow I've got to get through the next hour and a half. I don't know how. These women could have just stolen the show. And as it stands, though, ladies and gentlemen, after all the dust cleared, after all the carnage has been cleared away, Makoto Kaino stands triumphant in the squared circle. And ladies and gentlemen, she earned it. And now Aerith Gainsborough or Lindsay, I mean, regardless of either one, whoever wins tonight's main event, they're going to have to be on notice because they'll have Makoto Kaino to deal with. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand we're taking you to the back here in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, just uh, stand by for a second. Makoto Kaino, your winner. Stand by, and we will be taking you to the back shortly. Makoto Kaino, your winner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next contest here tonight at Retribution for the hardcore title. 
Sakura Haruno, the challenger, facing the champion, Yuna. Looking for some revenge after the last Nitro, ladies and gentlemen. And what a match this is going to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you will remember on the last Nitro, it was Yuna that took out Sakura Haruno in the dressing room. And Yuna became the new BWF Hardcore Champion. And Yuna now making her way down the aisle. I don't, to be honest though, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if Yuna really knows what she's getting into here. She's not very experienced in these kind of hardcore, no rules, no holds barred uh, contests. Yuna is a wrestler who is very used to your typical one fall matches. A uh, prominent tag team wrestler back in the days of NGW along with Riku as the goal wings. But um, you have to really give the edge here to Sakura Haruno going into this match because Sakura is a little bit more experienced as far as the hardcore ranks are concerned. But Yuna is a very capable competitor. She is kind of a jack of all trades. So perhaps maybe now she's found her new niche. Only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. And an interesting note. At any time that a uh, hardcore champion was challenged, a hardcore champion is yet to retain the title. A hardcore champion is yet to ward off a challenger. And ladies and gentlemen, that is almost impossible thanks to the 24-7 rule. I mean, it's just, how do you know if someone's gonna jump you? I mean, it, it just, it, it seems like your challenger will always get the first, uh, I mean, just it beat you to the punch in a manner of speaking. And Sakura Haruno now in the ring and don't adjust your sets. She is the challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen the last episode of Nitro, do so. That is how Yuna became the hardcore champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it is just our first title to be uh, competed for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, out of three title matches. Still to come, the VWF Tag Team Championships up for grabs. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, in the main event, the VWF Championship yet to be decided. Our first title match of the night, and here we go. These two ladies uh, chain wrestling here, trying to get a feel out for one another. Ladies and gentlemen, I just about wore my voice out during that Queen of the Mountain match. Ladies and gentlemen, I am already spent. I'm trying not to blow up here. So if I sound a little bit subdued in this match, I don't intend it to be so. I mean, this is just as compelling a match as any on the card tonight here at Retribution. But ladies and gentlemen, I got to kind of get my win back. Sakura, oh my, trying to get pursuit to Yuna in the corner, but Yuna comes back with a flying forearm. Shades of El Matador Tino Santana. No, well, he wasn't always El Matador. Yuna now with control. Irish whip onto uh, Sakura. Nice hip toss. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll remember, uh, in the uh, last days of new gen wrestling, Sakura Haruna was really on a war path. I mean, she really seemed to dominate anyone that stepped in the ring with her. But uh, getting into the Vixens Wrestling Federation, she seems to have uh, gotten off to a little bit of a slow start. You'll remember in her uh, BWF debut, she teamed up with Renoa Hartilly against Tequila Sunrise, and Tequila Sunrise took them out. Two count and only a two. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, last week, she and her partner, Renoa had an opportunity to wrestle for the tag team titles. But, ladies and gentlemen, they were dominated. Oh, my. Nice power bomb from Yuna on to Sakura. Sharpshooter coming up. No, figure four. Well executed. Yuna now. Lateral press. One. Two. No. No, didn't get her. 
you know though, pressing the advantage. Irish whip, nice flying forearm once again. Sakura with a go behind. Oh my, now these two jogging for position. Over the ropes, 360 goes Sakura. Oh, and just wringing her neck across the ropes there to the outside goes Sakura. Yuna leaps and got her. Yuna nailed her there. That's about a 10 foot fall. 10 to 15 foot fall. Oh my. Sakura taken out over the steel steps. Those steel steps have really paid off for anybody who has used them tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, remember this is for the hardcore title. Anything goes. Oh my, you just hear that sickening thud as Sakura cracks that chair over the head of Yuna. And another fan terminator. Oh my. False count anywhere. One, two, no. No, didn't get her. But Sakura staying on her, not giving an inch. And now taking her out. Oh my, just, just uh, hammering away on that uh, steel guardrail there, that fan barricade. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so glad that you could be a part of history. BWS first ever click purview retribution. And ladies and gentlemen, we've already seen BWF action at its best with the Queen of the Mountain match, and we are seeing it again right now in our first of three title matches. And oh my, now Sakura's got a drink from a fan. Now Yuna's trying to use it. These two fighting over the drinks. Oh my. Just throwing it into the face of Yuna. And, and what a terrible way, way to waste a Mr. Pibb. Oh my, Yuna fired into that fan barricade again. Sakura's got her. Oh my, gonna drop her. Oh my. What he can do about this? There is no 10 count he can administer. There is no count to break. He can only watch as these two go out. And now Sakura used a replica title belt that another fan wore in here. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope security is keeping a tabs so they can return it to these fans. Northern Lights suplex two. No. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, you saw a few moments ago before this, uh, before this match, uh, someone signing a contract with Frederick James Francis, making them an official part of the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And the uh, only question is, who could it be? And will we see them tonight? Sakura now going to work on Yuna. Yuna's not really been in this match. Sakura now on the edge of the canvas. Sunset flip. This could get her. One. And only a one. I think Yuna's momentum took her right on out of there. Sakura now with an arm bar. Nice arm bar counter from Yuna. Yuna with a shot to the small of the back and another one of those flying forearms. That is really home base for Yuna. And uh, I can't blame her. You dance with what brought you. Yuna is known for being so quick, so athletic, but then again, so is Sakura. But Sakura is known for uh, her uh, deceptive power. Sakura Haruno is a very physically gifted athlete. Well, but they both are. Now Yuna with a table, didn't get a chance to use it. Oh my, flashback from Sakura onto that unforgiving steel surface there on the floor here. The only thing to separate you is about one inch of padding. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, that's not enough. Oh my, a bulldog. And right now, Sakura Haruno is just pouring it on. This has not been close to no, no. Oh my God, that table's on fire. That table's on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, definitely don't try this at home because I think I know what Sakura is looking for here. Oh no. Oh my God. Setting her up for a suplex. Oh my God! Through the flaming table. And Yuna may have just suffered third degree burns. And I don't mean she had a night on the town with CAWD's The Phoenix. Oh my, Yuna though. How, how is Yuna fighting back? I don't get it. Oh my, and now over the fan barricade. And now Sakura Haruno is among all of the fans in the front row out there in Section D of the VWF Arena. Yuna, though, continuing to go to work. And she tosses her over again. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's bothering Sakura more, 
being fired over that uh, steel guardrail or having all of those fans ask her for her autograph. And Yuna, once again, these two continuing to battle out in front of the fans. Nice spinning heel kick from Sakura. Sakura with another one. And now Sakura going for another weapon. And she came out with a chair. But a nice fireman's carry there. Sakura with a headlock. Nice spinning heel kick. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, still to come, our next match on the card is the tag team title match. The Simpson sisters challenging Team G4. Also still to come, we will decide a new set of number one contenders as Haruka and Michiru team up against Tequila Sunrise, Reiko Hinamoto, and Dixie Clements. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, the main event, Aerith Gainsborough defending the VWF title against Lindsay. Oh, my, and Sakura just using that Kurt Angle-style takedown, that, that Greco-Roman takedown, and now another fan is about to lose another $5 cup of Mr. Pibb. Come on, that's a collectible cup. And look at this. Just a couple of left hands. Oh, my, into that staggering right. Sakura Haruno, well-versed in all sorts of martial arts and all sorts of fighting styles. Oh, my. And I think her most adept fighting style is the art of the trash can. And, oh, no, now a guitar. A guitar, an acoustic equalizer. Yuna takes it from her. And, oh, my God, just cracks it over her skull. And uh, if anyone would know the name of that tune, it would be Sakura. Cover two and only a two. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, on an interesting note, no, no holder of the VWF Hardcore title has yet to retain it in any form of a challenge. A champion has yet to retain. So uh, history, the short history of the VWF Hardcore title bodes well for Sakura Haruno. Sakura leaps and nails a helo. Oh my, high risk maneuver there. Sakura now pouring some, and I, oh my, and I think that was RC Cola. I think that was RC Cola. And now Yuna, Yuna showing her, saying, I want some more. Is that all you've got, Sakura? And Sakura is more than willing to oblige. Now Sakura firing that trash can back in. The wep I mean, the weapons just litter the ring. A sunset flip there, a victory roll, excuse me, and only a one. I don't know where these women are getting this, ladies and gentlemen. And another Greco-Roman style takedown from Sakura. Just, just look at this sellout crowd, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my, another Northern Lights suplex. Sakura didn't bridge it though. Oh my, she, and oh my, she, she tried to, she tried to do a leg drop assisted by that chair, but, I mean, she may have just cracked her uh, tailbone. Oh my, but she's not showing it, and another Van Terminator. That seems to really be one of her favorite moves. Bulldog from Sakura onto the champion. Champ in a, in a lot of uh, trouble here. The title definitely up for grabs. Sakura Haruno has dominated three-fourths of this match. Look at that, going southpaw again, and then catching him with a right. Oh, my. In the words of Tennessee Ernie Ford, if the left one don't get you, the, if the right one don't get you, then the left one will. Excuse me. Sorry, Tennessee Ernie Ford. Dragon suplex two and only a two. And ladies and gentlemen, I apologize to the late Tennessee Ernie Ford. I made that reference and I blew it. But that's the only time you've seen somebody in this arena blow a spot because these women have all come in here in tip-top shape. You can tell that every woman that has competed so far, even the women in the dark matches, everybody knew what this show was all about. Everybody came ready. And ladies and gentlemen, what an undercard you missed. I mean, these, I mean, these fans were definitely, oh my God, as Sakura Haruno goes face first into the ladder, these fans were definitely amped up by the time that Retribution went on the air. 
And now there's a kendo stick. Kendo stick com comes into play for the first time. Oh, but Yuna going with that trash can, that steel trash can. And oh my, Sakura can't see. And oh my, she may be playing a little bit of drums here, and she does. Using that Singapore cane and just cracking it over the back of Sakura. What a grueling match. Scoop slam. Yuna now with a rare offensive flurry. Nice DDT. Boy, she couldn't have hit that any better if she tried. Yuna now picking Sakura up. Yuna DDT. Oh, my. That was a shatter sphere. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Shatter sphere from Yuna. And Yuna right there just ducking out of the way for dear life. These two women jockeying for position. And oh my, just tossing Sakura by her hair. It's getting dirty in there. It's getting down and dirty. Coming up a tie up, Sakura firing Yuna off the ropes. Into a well executed Hurricane Rana. Oh my, but a punch to the midsection. Listen to these fans. Starting to really get into it, sensing that the end may be near, that we may be in for an exciting finish. But ladies and gentlemen, these two women may wrestle all night, and this sold-out crowd would not complain. 20,000-plus on hand at the VWF Arena. And these two women continuing to jockey for position. Who will get the upper hand here? I mean, you can see them both. Small package! Small package! Referee out of position! Two! No! And oh my, Sakura Haruna has every right to be mad. Referee was way out of position. Knee to the head from Yuna. And that really staggered Sakura. Sakura fired off the ropes. Irish whip. Back body drop countered into a victory roll. One, two. We've got a new champion. Sakura's done it. Did it with a sunset flip. And Sakura Haruno is a two-time VWF Hardcore Champion. She got it back. She guaranteed that she would get it back, and she has lived up to her promise. Sakura Haruno is your new champion, and what a match. What a match. An impressive showing taking the title away from Yuna. Yuna took it from her on Nitro, and Sakura's gotten it back. Ladies and gentlemen, you see the replays, and oh my. I thought that was it. I thought that was it, but these women continue to wrestle for another 10 minutes. I mean, unbelievable intestinal fortitude on the part of both of these women. True fighting spirit. I mean, back and forth so many times. But in the end, oh my, as you see, Yuna hit the shatter sphere there. I thought it could have been over there. But no, Sakura Haruno countered one of Yuna's moves into a victory roll. And there's a reason they call that. They call that move the victory roll. Because it led to victory for Sakura. And Sakura proudly wearing the belt. And oh, wait, wait a minute. Who, who is this? Someone has come from the back and is attacking the champion. 24-7 rule. This counts. And ladies and gentlemen, it, it's Lufisto. It's Lufisto. She was the new signing. Listen to these fans. I think they get it now. And Lufisto. DDT onto the chair. Lufisto out of nowhere. The, the, the hardcore diva. And, and ladies and gentlemen, she really has hardcore credentials. And oh my, Emerald Fusion onto the chair. The cover. And we have a new champion. Lufisto has come from out of nowhere. And she walks out your new 
Hardcore Champion, Sakura Haruno's Hardcore Title Reign. Her second one lasted all of 30 seconds. Lou Fisto, I mean, she was just signed. I mean, she's only been an employee for about 20 minutes, and already she has captured gold. New Hardcore Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, a shocking turn of events. And ladies and gentlemen, Tiffany is standing by, I understand, with Abdallah Bin Laden. The real assassin. Oh my, and Tifa just jumped Abdullah. Tifa on the warpath just sneak attacked Abdullah and gave Abdullah a piece of her own medicine. And ladies and gentlemen, I think medical attention is too good for Abdullah in this commentator's opinion. But ladies and gentlemen, who's the real attacker? Diana Buffer now in the ring. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as stated earlier, three title matches tonight, and it's time for title match number two. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, this, I mean, this is gonna be a huge one, ladies and gentlemen. It could have huge ramifications, especially considering the match that will follow this one. And ladies and gentlemen, right now, um, of course, the challenger's coming out first, but, um, Interestingly enough, it, it looks like they're choosing to enter separately. There's Jessica Simpson. And uh, no sign of her younger sister, Ashley, but this is very interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because um, for as long as the Simpson sisters have been competing in CAW, usually they enter together. But um, it seems, ladies and gentlemen, that, that tonight they've chosen to enter uh, individually. Interesting indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Just an interesting note observed. And here comes Ashley, the other half of the Simpson sisters. Former NGW Women's Champion. As a team, the Simpson sisters, former NGW Women's Tag Team Champions. And tonight, they look to add a second league's pair of tag team titles around their waist, perhaps chasing the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, and the Dudley Boys. You, of course, remember the Legion of Doom captured the AWA, WCW, WWE, and uh, IWGP tag titles. The Dudley Boys captured the WWE, ECW, WCW, and IWGP tag titles, including many more. And now the Simpson sisters looking to uh, chase uh, such a feat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and it appears that both teams, ladies and gentlemen, have all chosen to enter individually. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the entrance of the tag team champions. And you see one half of the tag champions, one half of team G4, and I am talking, of course, about Morgan Webb. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a rematch of a, of a uh, match fought to crown the first ever Tag Team Champions on the inaugural episode of Monday Nitro. And ladies and gentlemen, Team G4 came away with a victory there, and they look to go two for two against Jessica and Ashley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, her tag team partner on her way down the aisle. And I am talking, of course, of the co-host of Attack of the Show. I am talking, of course, about Olivia Munn. And here she comes. And uh, so far, she and her partner, Morgan Webb, have been uh, very successful tag team champions. I mean, but uh, we've not seen them in uh, action uh, very much. Uh, they've defended the titles a few times, but uh, never on a stage like this. This will be their first true test. You remember, of course, Olivia Munn never really had a chance to make an impact in NGW. She came in very late. And uh, Morgan Webb, of course, is a uh, former champion, former Internet Vixens champion. So uh, the first tag team gold this team has uh, ever tasted was here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And this will be their first major test on the worldwide stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the whole world is watching this tag team title contest. The Simpson sisters, of course, though, have been here many, many, many times. The Simpson sisters, no strangers to the spotlight in tag team competition. Bell's gone, we're underway. Morgan Webb starting with Jessica. And Jessica right now content just to taunt Morgan Webb. Maybe trying to get into the heads of the champions here. Nice neck breaker from Morgan Webb onto Jessica Simpson. Morgan Webb picking her back up. Oh my, a rake of the eyes by Jessica. Jessica, well executed DDT. Had to really stun her whole body to get Morgan Webb down. Ashley looking on the corner. Team G4 definitely the fan favorites here. And another neck breaker from Morgan Webb. And oh, Ashley saw her opportunity and is restraining Morgan. Jessica struggling to her feet. Oh my, didn't have a chance. Morgan Webb uh, broke the hold of Ashley on the outside. And ladies and gentlemen, the referee's really going to have his hands full here. He's going to really have to have eyes in the back of his head to keep these teams in check, ladies and gentlemen. And Jessica now, lateral press. Oh, come on. Hooking the ropes. No. And Olivia Munn makes the save. Good for her. Oh, my. Jessica distracted and caught by an Ultimate Warrior style shoulder tackle from Morgan Webb. Morgan now with Jessica. Oh, my. Death Valley driver. Shades of Victoria with that modified Death Valley driver. Now makes the tag to Olivia Munn. They've really cut the ring in half so far. Nice drop kick. Oh, but she drop kicked her right to Jessica, and Jessica doesn't make the tag. Jessica had a perfect opportunity to tag in her younger sister, Ashley, and, and passed it up. Irish whip. Oh, my. Olivia Munn made the mistake of going for uh, a Hurricane Rana and uh, walked right into a power bomb. Jessica now with Olivia Munn. Olivia with a go behind. Trying to reverse it. That Hurricane Rana works. That one connects. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night it's been. And ladies and gentlemen, we are not even close to done. Because after this, ladies and gentlemen, whoever went, oh my, as Olivia Munn really blew that move. Uh, not used to taking a lot of chances, and you can see it right there. And it's going to cost her here. And Jessica taunts her, but... But Olivia does the smart thing, does the thing that Jessica passed up on, and makes the tag to her partner, Morgan Webb. Jessica has gone the distance so far for her team. Neck breaker again from Morgan Webb. Jessica has got to make a tag. Oh, my thumb to the eye again. Jessica's got to make a tag, but she doesn't really seem to be trying to make a tag. Leapfrogs. Oh, my. Let Morgan Webb regain her composure. And Morgan Cotter with another neck breaker. Morgan Webb is really emphasizing that neck breaker. And now Jessica in a bad part of town. 
And now Olivia Munn going to give her a taste of her own medicine. Double team coming up. Oh, my. And just a backhand slapping the taste out of Jessica's mouth. And, ladies and gentlemen, you, you I mean, I can see up here in the gorilla position, Ashley's getting visibly frustrated. She knows that her older sister desperately needs to make a tag. Jessica's been in there for the better part of about six or seven minutes now. Lateral press, doesn't hook a leg. Ashley, frustrated, comes in and shoves Morgan Webb off. Ladies and gentlemen, you can like him or you can hate him, but uh, the Simpson sisters very experienced in the tag title ranks, and now Jessica finally makes the much-needed tag. Now Ashley, the fresh woman in, sees her opportunity with Morgan. I mean, we're talking about a former Internet Vixens champion and a former NGW women's champion and a nice leap off of the ropes. Cover. Olivia Munn too close and makes the save. Well, ladies and gentlemen, why, why not? I mean, you've got a five count to get out of the ring. It's worth it to go in there and break up the pin. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, title does not change hands unless there is a pinfall or submission. The burden is on the challengers, the Simpson sisters here. Oh, my, nice X factor from Ashley to counter that powerbomb. The burden here is on the challengers as it is in any title match. They have to beat Team G4. Team G4 does not have to beat them. Oh, my, and another nice flying tackle there from Morgan Webb. And a Morgan stunned with that right hand from Jessica. Come on, referee. And now another double team maneuver coming up. And oh my, a thumb to the eye. And wait a minute. A book in into, into the Simpson lock. In the Simpson lock. That's how the Simpson sisters won number one contendership. But Morgan, I mean, excuse me, Olivia Munn saw her partner was in trouble and made the much needed save. Perhaps saving the tag team titles. Ladies and gentlemen, what a competitive tag title division BWF has. I mean, you've got Team G4, the Simpson Sisters, Tequila Sunrise, Sakura Haruno, and uh, Renoa Hartilly. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I mean, coming off of the wire, uh, even more tag teams in store. And oh my, Shades of the Heart Foundation there. Shades of the New Foundation, ex excuse me. And that was the rocket launcher. That was the rocket launcher. That's what that move is called. And it was well executed, but only got a two. Nice cross neck breaker there. And I wonder, ladies and gentlemen, if the rocket launcher will be Team G4's new go-to tag team move. I mean, it's a devastating maneuver. Olivia Munn now with a headlock onto Ashley. Nice backhand. And into a short arm clothesline. Olivia Munn hooking the leg, making the cover. One, two, no. And Morgan Webb, oh my, takes out Jessica with ease. Ashley off the ropes. Oh my, Hurricane Rana from Olivia Munn. Team G4 looking really good here. A forearm from Olivia. She's got Ashley, and oh my, just snaps her neck off of those ropes, those hard, unforgiving ropes. Olivia takes a chance and missed. Uh, I don't think high-risk maneuvers are going to be her forte, ladies and gentlemen. Needs to get away from those or it will really start to affect her. Jessica now tagged back in. Takes down Olivia with a Randy Savage style clothesline. Jessica now with Olivia, boot to the midsection. X-Factor connects. X-Factor connected right on the button. But wait a minute, now Jessica getting distracted. She took out Morgan. you got to focus on the task at hand. And Olivia Munn makes her pay for it. And this is what she gets for her trouble. Perhaps, yes, a blind tag made. And oh my, Olivia was waiting for a double team maneuver, didn't need it. That was a chick kick. Jessica could be out. But no, Ashley just barely shoves Morgan off of Jessica. Boy, that was close. And Jessica Simpson seizing the opportunity. Takes Morgan Webb down. Now she's on the top, measuring her. Oh, my, but she whiffed on that move. I think she was going to wait until Morgan uh, got up, but she lost her balance. 
two. And that mistake nearly cost Jessica and Ashley the tag team titles. I mean, just su such an intense match, ladies and gentlemen. These women trying to try new things to try and mix it up here. Try something unorthodox, something out of their norm to try and finish this match. Double team maneuver coming up. Jessica Holtz, Morgan, and oh my, a stomp from Ashley. Ashley's just so fast. She can get so much velocity off those ropes. Hook of the leg, lateral press one, and only a one. Olivia Munn making the save. Like I said at the start of this match, ladies and gentlemen, the referee's going to have to have eyes in the back of his head, and he has struggled to maintain order here. Ashley with control. Morgan now is the one needing to make a tag. Oh, my, and she's thrown face first into the buckle. These fans trying to rally behind Team G4. Jessica now coming over. And up. Oh, my, uh, Ashley had her set up on the top rope for maybe a superplex, but uh, Jessica decides to improvise there and punch Morgan Webb and shove her off of the ropes. Now Morgan Webb with a go behind. Irish whip onto uh, Ashley, now back into Team G4 territory, double team maneuver, another rocket launcher, and it connects. A second rocket launcher connects. Jessica cleared out, Ashley is out. The cover, one, two, no! Oh, I thought it was over. I thought it was over. I thought Team G4 had retained with the rocket launcher. But Olivia Munn, not to be deterred. She's signaling for something here. Oh, my elbow to the back of the head of Ashley. Irish whip. Ashley fired off the ropes. And another Hurricane Rana takedown from Olivia Munn. Olivia now picking her up. Ashley's out on her feet. And another Hurricane Rana just absolutely taking Ashley for a tour around the world here. Olivia now. With her, I mean, Olivia Munn can end this nice cross neck breaker again. That cross neck breaker keeps your opponent from covering up. And now Olivia is signaling, perhaps, what's she signaling for? She's saying it's over. Geeky clothesline. The geeky clothesline. Morgan Webb takes care of Jessica. Ashley in the middle. The cover. Two. Forget about it. And Team G4 has retained the titles. Team G4, Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn, still your VWF Tag Team Champions. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. You saw there the rocket launcher, but Olivia Munn finally won it with the geeky clothesline. Shades of Kerry Von Erich's tornado punch. And ladies and gentlemen, Team G4 has really shown that they're a force to be reckoned with. They have gone two for two against former NGW Women's Tag Team Champions, the Simpson Sisters. Simpson Sisters looked like they were a little bit off their game here. It looks like they weren't very sharp. And maybe next time they'll spend more time in the gym getting ready. You've got to be 110% ready when you face the champions or you'll see this result. The champions retaining their titles. Team G4 continues their title reign with a big win. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take you to the back here in just a second as Team G4 celebrates. Celebrates a well-deserved and huge win. They are still the tag team champions. Let's take you to the back.
Oh my, Aerith really not appreciating that help from Tifa. Aerith wants to get it done the old fashioned way. Now ladies and gentlemen, we will decide new number one contenders for the tag titles. Who will face Team G4? Will it be Haruka and Michiru or the dominant tag team of Tequila Sunrise? Let's take you to the video packet and show you how we got to this moment, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of bad blood in this one. Let's take you to the package. You can use four words to describe this feud. Good old fashioned hate. A lot of bad blood that has stemmed from the very first episode of Nitro, from the very opening, I mean the very first breaths of the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And ladies and gentlemen, it has come to a head here at Retribution. And ladies and gentlemen, the stakes have never been higher. There you see Haruka and Michiru, CAW Wrestling's self-proclaimed only lesbian tag team. Haruka and Michiru, longtime veterans, taking on another pair of longtime veterans. And I'm talking, of course, about Tequila Sunrise, the undefeated Tequila Sunrise, consisting of Dixie Clements and Reiko Hinamoto. Ladies and gentlemen, Haruka and Michiru both individually cost both members of Tequila Sunrise shots at the Queen of the Mountain match. And ladies and gentlemen, this match was made to settle the score. And ladies and gentlemen, these are just, these are two teams that absolutely hate each other. And will that hate put Haruka and Michiru over the top? Can they finally be the team that says, I ended the undefeated streak of Tequila Sunrise? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to find out. Listen to these fans. 20,000 people on their feet cheering the hottest tag team in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. The Zero Fighter, Reiko Hinamoto. The Three Count Cowgirl, Dixie Clements. Together, they make up the undefeated Tequila Sunrise. Ladies and gentlemen, they have plowed through all of the competition here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. They defeated Haruka and Michiru. They defeated Sakura Haruno and uh, Renoa Hartelli. And ladies and gentlemen, they look to continue their undefeated streak, ladies and gentlemen. Tequila Sunrise as a team has never lost a match. And they look to keep it going here tonight at Retribution. We are underway and the three count cowgirl starting off with Michiru. Oh my, and you can already see the hatred between these two teams. Dixie starting out a house of fire. Tequila Sunrise has waited for this. They've waited weeks for this. Haruka and Michiru 
There are no more mind games to be played. By. Oh, my, a double team right there. And, ladies and gentlemen, if I said that the referee would have to keep his eyes in the back of his head in the last match, ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't have been surprised if there had been two referees assigned to this one. These are two teams that hate each other. Like I said, four words describe it. Good old-fashioned hate. And Dixie Clements right now going to town, laying a Texas-sized beat down on Michidu. Michidu fired into the buckle. Rako looking on. Rako not ready to come in yet. She wants Dixie to get her fill. It was Michiru that cost Dixie her shot at the Queen of the Mountain. And it was Haruka that cost Reiko. So Dixie getting the woman that she wanted. Oh my, but an impaler DDT there from Michiru. Ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, the winners of this contest will be the new number one contenders for Team G4's VWF Tag Team titles. And ladies and gentlemen, you know the champions have to be on notice. Both capable tag teams, both of them will give Team G4 all they want. And oh my, Tequila Sunrise giving Michiru a taste of her own medicine. Like the old adage says, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Oh my, Dixie, oh my, she lost her focus there for a second. And right now, Michiru right now just trying to counter off of all of Dixie's moves. She knows that Dixie came in here at a full head of steam. Dixie is famous for her short fuse. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Tequila Sunrise as a team, even though they are veterans, even though they are quality wrestlers, they wrestle with a lot of emotion. And it, I mean, it, the good and bad comes with that. The good being that you're constantly in the face of your opponent. The bad being that you can let your guard down like that. And a double team maneuver from Haruka and Michiru. Haruka, now the legal woman. Makes a cover and only a one, and Reiko makes the save. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling we'll see a lot of that. Oh my, Dixie just nearly beheaded Haruka with that clothesline. Dixie set up in the corner, measures her, and a big spear. A Texas-sized spear. Everything's bigger in Texas, including the wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, I've said it before many times, Dixie lists her main uh, icon, if you will, her main uh, you know, influence in CAW wrestling as the Lariat Stan Hansen, another fellow Texan. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a good mold to follow in the wrestling business. Dixie makes the tag to her partner, Rayco. Rayco, ladies and gentlemen, you remember, came here from all of Japan FWA and she has been on fire here in VWF. She made her debut here. She's the only woman in this match that wasn't in New Gen Wrestling. And Reiko right now, nice combination move. And now Reiko getting some revenge on the woman who cost her an opportunity at the Queen of the Mountain. And a nice DDT there. Tequila Sunrise looking like they are in control like they have been in all of their tag team matches. And ladies and gentlemen, I just wonder what's going through the mind of Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb right now. Who would they rather face? Oh my, nice DDT counter out of a powerbomb. Haruka tags Michiru in. Frequent tags on the part of the lesbian tag team. Oh my, now coming to a work on a different portion of the body is Michiru. And a flashback. Shades of Mr. Perfect. And tags Haruka right back in. Once again, keeping the fresh woman in. A mark of a good tag team. Haruka and Michiru have been wrestling together for the better part of about three years. But uh, then again, Reiko and Dixie have wrestled together for the better part of about five or six years with the emergence of Rumble Roses. Oh my, and just a huge clubbing blow there from Haruka onto the exposed back of the head of uh, Reiko. Two, and Dixie makes another save. Oh my, and Reiko, it's her turn to nearly behead Haruka with a clothesline. Now Dixie is tagged back in. Now it's Tequila Sunrise that looks to keep the fresh woman in. You've got to cut that ring in half. Irish whip. Leapfrog from Dixie. Another. Going into a Samoan drop, but Haruka counters out. A headlock applied from Haruka, and oh my, a huge knee. And then a shoulder tackle. Oh my, just driving the skull of Dixie Clements into the canvas. 
And now Michi through tagged back in. Haduka really needed to make that tag. Michi through now with a headlock. Fires her into enemy territory, into that buckle. Double team maneuver coming up here. Irish whip from Michi through. Drop toe hold into, oh my, another well executed elbow right into the lower lumbar region of the back of Dixie Clements. And oh my, just some big right hand bombs into Dixie Clements. Dixie in a lot of trouble right now. Tequila Sunrise looking very human right now. I mean, I've never seen Haruka and Michiru wrestle in such an intense matter. I mean, I, I, I mean I've seen them wrestle well. But ladies and gentlemen, every move of Haruka and Michiru seems to be crisp and with deadly accuracy. I mean, they are hitting everything. And now, Rocket Launcher connects! It helped Team, team G4 retain the titles. Will it help Haruka and Michiru get there? Two, and a save from Reiko. Ladies and gentlemen, that would have been it. And how ironic would it have been if Haruka and Michiru had gone on to win the number one contendership with a move that Team G4 uses as its most constant double team maneuver. Oh my, and I think that just, I think it just angered the heavy, the, I mean the big Texan. And the three count cowgirl looking to get back in it. She makes the tag. Another double team coming up, giving them a taste of their own medicine. Another rocket launcher connects. That one just as effective as any I've seen tonight. Lion Salt. Lion Salt from Rayco. And oh, a crossbody connects. Rayco. High risk maneuvers have paid off. Now they go behind on Michiru. Fires her into that turnbuckle. Double team maneuver coming up. Oh my, flashback into a huge savage kick. Such continuity on the part of Tequila Sunrise. And that is why they are undefeated here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Hook of the leg. One, two. And Haruka somehow gets past Reiko to make the save. Michiru trying to seize the opportunity, but no, Dixie was ready for it. And just pummeling away. Those just those huge right hands. Oh my, and nearly just nearly crushed her larynx with that move with using the ropes. What a match this has been. Back and forth so many times. Double team maneuver coming up. Irish whip. This is one of Hadaka and Michiru's favorites. And Tequila Sunrise shows them anything you can do, I can do better. Oh my! Reiko really measured Michiru for that drop kick. And now, tilt a whirl backbreaker. Oh my! High velocity on that one. And that's a heck of a way to come to a stop. Look at the leg. Two. And no. Referee has had almost no control here. But, ladies and gentlemen, you can't blame him. I mean, the, like I said, good old fashioned hate. There's, it's hard to control two teams in there that just absolutely hate each other. They're going to do anything it takes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just surprised there hasn't been blood spilled yet. I mean, you talk about bad blood. You talk about this feud right here. And now, Reiko setting up Michiru on the top. This spells trouble for Michiru. Superplex! Got her! Got her with a superplex! She hit the canvas at about 60 miles an hour. Standing moonsault. The cover, this is it. One, two. Oh my, and Haruka again interrupts. Referee has really got to consider giving one of these teams a disqualification. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, that would solve nothing. So I really can't blame the referee's discretion here. Let's get a winner. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get a winner. What a gut buster. And Reiko has dominated Michiru. And she once again takes out Haruka. Haruka's out. Haruka trying to crawl back up to the canvas. It's a long, slow crawl. Dixie tagged in. Michiru has no idea where she is. And she's trying to get out of that corner. Oh, my. Into a hip toss. And a huge clothesline from Dixie. Shades of her hero, Stan Hansen. A leap. Nearly decapitated her with a top rope leg drop. 
Measuring her for the spear, got her! This one could be over. Haruka takes, I mean, she flew about 10 feet in the air. Dixie wants a tap out. Dixie Lock. Dixie Lock with the Texas Cloverleaf. And Haruka barely makes the save. And she got taken out for her trouble. Tequila Sunrise will not be denied. Michinu trying to come back. Flashback connects. How will Haruka and Michinu circle the wagons? I think Tequila Sunrise is just too motivated. Another clothesline from Dixie. Huge clubbing blow. Into the buckle, Michinu goes. Michinu's been punished for the last 10 minutes. Rocket launch, you're sending a message to Team G4. Connected. This one's over. And now he's, she's gonna, Reiko's gonna try and put her to sleep. Oh my, but somehow Michinu hung on. Reiko picking her back up. If Michinu doesn't make a tag in the next two or three minutes, it's over. Reiko's got her set up for another gut buster. I don't even know if Michinu can breathe. Reiko from the top. Oh my. Misjudged the distance. But she's right back up. Dixie clears out Haruka. Michinu in a lot of trouble. And Michinu, what's she gonna do? Oh my, Reiko caught her. Reiko caught her. Sunrise cutter. Dixie clears out Haruka. No, Michinu's back up. How on earth? And now she's, it seems like she's just in another zone. Falcon Arrow. Where is Michinu getting this? The cover. One, two, no. My God, what is it going to take? Close line. How is Michinu still fighting? I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing one of the best matches that VWF has brought to you so far. Me, uh, Michinu fires Reiko into the buckle. Double team coming up. Drop to hold. Elbow. Got it. And this makes a world of difference. Michinu was just about out of it. And she tags in a very, very, very fresh Haruka. And now Haruka going to work. Wait a minute, she's starting to celebrate a little bit. Maybe getting too far ahead of herself now. Gotta stay focused. Haruka nails that uh, fisherman suplex. I mean, what a classic confrontation this has been. And you can only find it here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. There's nothing like it. Tag made. Here comes Dixie. Down goes Haruka. Down goes Michinu. Dixie on fire. Dixie lifts up Haruka. Dixie Cutter. She got it all the way. The cover. One, two. Yes, she got her. She did it. And Tequila Sunrise has done it. They are still undefeated. And now Team G4 is staring down the barrel of a loaded gun. They are looking at facing the undefeated Tequila Sunrise. What a match. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. If that doesn't get the adrenaline pumping, ladies and gentlemen, you must be in a coma. What a match. I mean, back and forth so many different times. These women found their fifth and sixth wins. But finally, Dixie came in a house of fire with a hot tag. Cleared out Michinu, hit the Dixie cutter, and that was all she wrote. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are on a collision course for a huge, huge showdown in the tag team ranks. As the only two undefeated tag teams left in the Vixens Wrestling Federation will square off. Can anybody stop Tequila Sunrise? Ladies and gentlemen, 
Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn, you are on notice. Tequila Sunrise, your winner, with a big win over their rivals. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to the back. Tiffany is standing by with a champ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the main event, tonight's theme for Retribution has been diamondized by Shinedown from the album The Sound of Madness, available wherever music is sold, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, what an album that is, thanks to Shinedown. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get down to business because it's main event time. A five-year rivalry comes to a head. Aerith, the champion, Faces the challenger, Lindsay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it started. Let's go, it's go time.
Diana Buffer sets it up perfectly in only the way she can. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw the video package. That leads us right to where we are. Here at the sold out VWF Arena, 20,000 plus on hand. Here to see this confrontation. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being part of our Click Review audience. Thank you for helping us make history. Ladies and gentlemen, the date is October the 30th, 2011. And ladies and gentlemen, the five year rival comes to a head here tonight. Not in NGW, but in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, so far the most iconic bout between Lindsay and Aerith Gainsborough was at Interactive Chaos 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, where Lindsay had to be Aerith's slave for a month. And ladies and gentlemen, that was tame compared to what has led us up to this co contest tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't just about the rivalry between these two women. It isn't just about the last five years of history between these two. Ladies and gentlemen, Aerith Gainsborough is fighting for a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever she may be, wherever she may be recovering at, we wish Ami Mizuno a speedy recovery and the best of luck in the coming weeks ahead. Of course, a cowardly attack. At, at the, at, at, ladies and gentlemen, Al-Qaeda is not claiming responsibility. And ladies and gentlemen, you saw Lindsay in the ring ready for action and most interestingly without Abdallah Bin Laden. And now, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this crowd explode. 20,000 plus on their feet. And ladies and gentlemen, it's deafening in here. I can't even try to talk over this. Let's just watch the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how you're hearing this. I can't even hear my own voice through my headset. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a hush falls over the crowd. And there you see it. The VWF Championship belt lifted high. That's what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, five years in the making. It's Lindsay. It's Aerith. It's right now. And it is for the number one prize in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And here we go. Aerith started with a Russian leg sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, one interesting thing to note. Where is Abdallah bin Laden? She is nowhere to be found. Tifa's attack has taken her right out of the equation. And you know that can only help Aerith Gainsborough. But interestingly enough, ladies and gentlemen, Al-Qaeda not claiming responsibility for the attack on Ami. Who is it? Ladies and gentlemen, I've heard some, I mean, so far, just going through the wire, through this, um, through this broadcast, this live broadcast, I, some conspiracy theorists are saying maybe Britney Spears, maybe Extina Aguilera, maybe even Shion Uzuki. But ladies and gentlemen, nobody knows who the mystery attacker is if it's not Al-Qaeda. Aerith with, a, small, with a, a cover right there and only a two. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with that set up, having been, I mean, with that having been said, Let's get back down to business. This is for the VWF title. It's a five-year-long rivalry. And now Aerith has got Lindsay off the ropes. Beautiful hip toss from the champion. Aerith is the only champion the Vixens Wrestling Federation has ever known, and what a champion she's been. The last ever NGW Women's Champion, the first ever VWF Champion. Now Lindsay fighting her way back. These two know each other so well. Nice suplex there from Lindsay. And ladies and gentlemen, it's the, I mean, it's the first time on a grand stage in a long time in many years since these two have competed. I mean, they've given each other 100% before. But ladies and gentlemen, I think tonight they're both going to give 110%. And they haven't seen that from each other in a long time. And Lindsay got a two right there. Aerith was one heartbeat away from losing the title. Ladies and gentlemen, what would Al-Qaeda do if they gained possession of the VWF championship? 
Oh, I shudder to imagine. Lindsay making another cover, staying persistent. One, two, and only a two. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, pinfall or submission is the name of the game. Nice takedown from Lindsay. I mean, you are literally watching two of the two of the greatest female athletes in this sport. Oh my, and just dropping some haymakers onto Aerith, and Fisherman Suplex finds the mark on the champion, Aerith Gainsborough. Ladies and gentlemen, Aerith was just such a hard worker. She waited years to win the NGW Women's title, and it was so much deserved, and so is the VWF title. Years of persistence and patience paid off. Lindsay nailed a top rope leg drop there. And she may be, that, that title may be slipping away, too, and only a two. Lindsay, though, staying on the offensive. I've never seen her so intense. Over the ropes, 360 goes Aerith, and that might have saved her. Oh, my, but not for long. Lindsay jumps her on the outside. Now they're brawling in front of the fans. Referee with a 10 count to work with here. Excuse me, a 20 count. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Lindsay going to use the barricade as a weapon. Oh, no. Don't do Oh, wait. No. No, Aerith got out of it. And with a big right hand. Now she's going to turn the tables. You get what you deserve, Lindsay. Oh, my. Dropped head first into a bulldog. And now Aerith, the champion, going to work. Referees count up to about eight now. Lindsay's in a lot of trouble. Nice Hurricane Rana again on that unforgiving concrete floor. Referees count up to about ten now. If he gets to 20, I mean, that would be a horrible way for this to end, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let this end in a count out. These two continuing to brawl, and I don't really think they're listening to the referee that much. Oh, my, Lindsay with a huge right hand. Oh, and just shoves Aerith into the steel post. I, oh, and I think the actual ring moved. And Lindsay, oh, my, just raking her neck across the ropes. And Lindsay, thankfully, back in. And wait a minute, the ref's count is up to about 17. Oh, my, and Lindsay just barely gets in. At least we won't have a count out. Oh, no, Lindsay cutting corners, two. Come on, referee, Aerith barely gets out of it. And this 20,000 plus is solidly behind Aerith. You can hear them cheering for her, trying to motivate her, trying to get her over her, her hated rival. And ladies and gentlemen, at least we won't see a count out yet. And I hope we don't. I hope we have a clear, legitimate finish. I hope we have a clear-cut winner. Aerith now, back with the advantage. Now just dropping some elbows. Slowly wearing down the challenger. Fires her into the turnbuckle. Aerith measuring her. And no, not taking the opportunity. I think just making a statement to her rival. She charges, oh my, and missed. Well, that's, that's what happens if you take just a little bit too long. Wrestling is a sport of just split seconds. A split second can change anything. If you can beat somebody, go ahead and beat them. Otherwise, it may haunt you the rest of your life. Aerith now on the ropes. Nails a Hurricane Rana off of the ropes. What a daring move that was. Both women stumble to their feet. Both of them motivated by something more than the thrill of competition. More than just the will to win. Oh, my. Lindsay just flew 10 feet in the air. Now Aerith flies and connects. Takes a 15-foot fall and nearly beheads Lindsay. And ladies and gentlemen, you have to wonder if Abdallah bin Laden had been out here, how much differently would this match be going? But Tifa took her out. But Aerith wanted to do this the old-fashioned way, wanted to win fair and square. She and Tifa have had their problems lately. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, that's got to be in the back of Aerith's mind, but she's got to stay focused here. She's in there with a former NGW Women's Champion herself. And now, Aerith signaling to the fans. Could it be? Yes, the great gospel got it. And it's over. Aerith retained the title. One, two, yes. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Only a two. She didn't get her. How did Lindsay kick out of the great gospel? Dropped right on top of her head. She's lucky. 
She doesn't have any spinal damage, but she kicked out. And now she's thrown to the outside. And look at that. Taunting Aerith. And Aerith is more than willing to give chase. Again, another death-defying move from the inside of the ring to the outside. But now she's back down in Lindsay's neck of the woods. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe that Lindsay is still on her feet and still dishing out punishment. It should have been over after the great gospel, but somehow she dug deep and kicked out. Oh no. Fires her into the steel, into the steel post. Aerith may have just separated her shoulder into a fisherman suplex. Aerith in a lot of trouble now. Now she's the one taking a lot of punishment. Lindsay, oh, here it comes. One of Lindsay's favorites. The five knuckle shuffle. And she caught it all the way. Aerith's out on her feet. Maybe just wrestling on instinct now. Lindsay definitely with the upper hand. Arm bar. And wait a minute. Oh, no. Here it comes. Here it comes. The FUB. We're going to have a new champion. Oh, no. No, not like this, though. No. No. And Aerith kicks out. All right, Aerith. Muster all the guts you got in your body. Chin breaker from the champ. Lindsay trying to cheat her way to the title. Oh my, Aerith tried a line salt and met the canvas. Wait a minute, now into an arm bar from Lindsay. Lindsay knows about a thousand different ways to hurt you and she can only be stronger through the tutelage of Abdallah bin Laden. Oh my, Lindsay just sent Aerith flying into the Japanese announce table and I wonder if, Lin if uh, Aerith just broke her back. She may have just fractured a disc in her spinal cord. Oh my, and Lindsay continuing to pour it on. Aerith was fired into the steel steps at about 100 miles an hour. Lindsay will do anything to bring the belt back to Al-Qaeda. And oh my, the champion's definitely in danger of losing the title here. Oh my, suplex onto those steel steps, oh my god. It just, oh my, you could hear it at home and it just, I mean, it just sends chills down your spine. But in Aerith's case, it's sending pain down her side. Oh my, face first again into the steel post. It may take Aerith a long time to recover from this one. No matter who wins, ladies and gentlemen, there may be no winners here. Luthes press from Lindsay, fist and fire. There may be no uh, winners here, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a career-shortening type match. These two ladies putting it all on the line. And now, STFUB. STFUB. Aerith is nowhere near the ropes. Nowhere near the ropes. She's got to break the hold. If she wants to keep the title, it's slipping away. Will she tap? Oh, my. She powered out. She powered out. She was nowhere near the ropes, and that is pure guts. Give these two all the credit in the world. I mean, they have just... I mean, what a confrontation. And now Aerith's back up. Aerith, motivated by something stronger than the will to win. She's back up, and she is on fire right now. Aerith picking up the challenger. Yes, yes, here it comes. Catch her just to fade. She got her. She got all of it. Caught her right on the chin. Aerith with the cover. One, two, yes. She did it. She did it. Aerith has defeated her five-year rival. Her ultimate challenge has been overcome. And the champion retains the title. Aerith Gainsborough, the first ever VWF champion, walks into retribution with the belt and walks out of retribution with the title still around her waist. Lindsay gave her everything. Lindsay took her. Oh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm losing my voice. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay took her to the limit. 
what you just saw was two women giving you not only of their body, but of their soul. And Aerith Gainsborough is still your VWF champion. Celebrate if you got it in you, Aerith. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I mean, you can see the replays. Lindsay kicked out of the great gospel. Aerith kicked out of the FUB, powered out of the STFUB, and finally, Aerith nailed the Ketra twist of fate. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you to the ring. Yes, let's all get an answer here. If Al-Qaeda didn't attack Ami Mizuno, then who did? Let's get our answers. There's Abdallah. Let's, let's lay back here. Let's lay out for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Let him, let him talk. Abdallah bin Laden. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get our answers. And and this is this is footage taken at the last nitro. And and there's Tiffa and Ami, of course. Um, oh my god, no. No. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. It, it, it can't be. This can't be. This, this this cannot be, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, say it's not so. Tifa is Ami's attacker. And no, no, not like no, it can't be. No, no, I, I refuse. To, what? Oh my! No, 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 no! Oh my God! Of all the people in the world to attack Ami, it was her best friend Tifa. Tifa's joined Al Qaeda. It can't be.